Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, we are going to be trying snacks from Denmark. Now this video is kindly sponsored by a company called Snack Surprise, who actually reached out to me on Instagram. They basically said we would like to send you a box of our snacks and get you to film a video for us and give it a review. So whilst this video is sponsored, all of my opinions will be completely in my own. If I don't like something, obviously I'll let you know. If I do like something, obviously I'll let you know. If you haven't heard of Snack Surprise before, honestly, I do not know where you have been because I've heard of them like way before they even reached out to me. And they are basically a monthly subscription service. So you basically pay a set amount each month get a box of snacks delivered to your door and every single month it's a different country so i've actually used their subscription services before um, i had two other boxes from them and i believe the snacks were from spain and france and then this box i've already had a cheeky look so i knew what i was filming and this is a box of goodies from denmark so i'm just going to tell you a little bit about the subscription service real quick before we actually get into it basically so they send you this box every single month which by the way is such a good idea because if you're like a big foodie like me and you like like trying out different snacks this is so handy because basically you don't even have to leave your house like it just comes to your door and then you get to basically try snacks from around the world so you basically get to try like loads of different cultural things which honestly is such a good idea but basically they have sent me their original box so there are three different sizes of box that you can get you can get their mini box you can get their original box and then you can get their premium box and obviously they all have like different prices and whatever and i will pop on screen the amount of money it costs for this size of box so this is like their sort of like a medium box so it's kind of like a small medium large type situation and you basically get this little pamphlet inside of the box and it basically tells you what all of the snacks are so you don't have to like guess and how cute is this it tells you like fun little like facts about the particular country that it is like for that month have some facts about Denmark here. It has the oldest flag in the world. It's one of the happiest countries in the world. Denmark has been named the happiest country in the world many times and always sits near the top of the UN World Happiness Report and it's currently ranked number two just behind Finland. There are no mountains in Denmark. Denmark is an extremely flat country. Lego was invented by a Dane. Denmark was the first country to legalise same-sex unions in 1989. Same-sex marriage was then legalised in 2012. It continues to hold several pride celebrations throughout the country. I love that. Denmark has one of the oldest monarchies in the world. The Danish monarchy dates back to the first Viking kings of Denmark more than a thousand years ago. Denmark appointed the world's first female minister. As, as Minister of Education, Nina Bang became the first female minister in the internationally recognised government in 1924. So, Denmark are basically a very progressive and a very cool country is what I'm hearing. I have been to Copenhagen before. I've tried some sort of, I guess, typical Danish snacks before, but I don't think I'm going to have tried any of these. And they also have, like, your make your very own at home sort of recipe so you can, like, do a traditional Danish meal and it, like, tells you, like, the ingredients and the recipe and everything that's so cute but yeah i'm very excited to try these the other two snack boxes that i've tried from them have honestly just been pure heat no miss like they've been so good so this is what it looks like when you open it up so you typically if you get like, oh god if you get the original box you will typically also get a drink in there as well which i think is quite cool so let's just go through and pick some out random let's start with this because this looks chocolatey and i'm craving some chocolate i'm having a bit of an emotional day today to be honest guys so i thought this would be a great time to film a video where i basically just get to try some snacks it's very on brand for me it's called tom's orange stang and it basically it kind of looks like a kit kat that's how i would describe it it's basically another classic from tom's so i'm guessing tom's is the actual brand the orange stang a perfectly crunchy milk chocolate bar with a burst of orange so this is going to taste like orange chocolate to say i'm in the mood for chocolate like i literally had some celebrations chocolate before i started eating this but you know what it's raining today i don't know if you can tell it's quite grim outside it's just it's just one of those days you need a bit of extra chocolate they, they are not joined together they're like separate individual pieces of chocolate that's so weird mm, it's giving terry's chocolate orange that's very nice very nice quality chocolate okay I like that. That really does taste like a Terry's chocolate orange. That's the closest comparison I can make. Not super orangey, but enough. It's like a little bit of a crunch as well. Like it's not just orange. There's like there's like another there's like some more texture in there. So I really like this one. I am gonna have like a teeny tiny 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 bit more just to get a bit more flavouring. Give that like a six point five. No, I'd give that a seven. I'd give that a seven out of ten. Very good. Looks like a Kit Kat tastes like a terry's chocolate orange next up let's try these they look like crisps so it's by a brand called kim's 
American Grill. Thinly cut ridge potato chips fried in sunflower oil. They have a lightly smoked barbecue flavour with tomato and onions. So they're supposed to taste like barbecue, tomato and onions. I'm guessing American Grill is just referring to what you'd have on a grill typically. Okay, listen, that's really nice, but look at how much you get in there. There's like hardly anything in there. I'm getting the barbecue, I'm getting the tomato, I'm not getting the onion. Mmm. Okay. These are really nice. I could easily eat like a huge bag of these. The, the flavours, like none of them are very strong. Like there's little bits of all of them, but none of them come through like super heavy. Probably give that like 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. They're really good. I'm like a big crisp gal though. Here, another Kim's product. And this is the Kim's Snack Chip in the flavour original. These are quite interesting. I don't know what they are. So, they are classic from 1987. Kim's Snack Chips are ridged with a delicious flavour and extraordinary crispiness. So, I think they're also just crisp again. Oh, they smell strong. Interesting. That kind of looks like a weird quaver. Oh, wow. They're so crispy. I can feel like moving my brain when I chew it. This reminds me of like the consistency of a pork scratching. Quite like that though. I don't really know what the flavour is. I would say I slightly prefer the crisps before this just because they were like a little bit less harsh on your teeth. But these are really good as well. I'd give these like a 7.5 if the other crisps are like an 8. Big up to Denmark. Honestly, you all are doing so well. Right, this is the brand Tom's. So the chocolate was also Tom's. So we basically are Tom's and Kim's just like supplying the entirety of Denmark. Ping Bin Blanding. I don't know what that means. But it's a mixture of soft licorice sweets. Share with your friends or keep it to yourself. We won't share. I'm not a fan of licorice at all. Like I'm not going to like these. I already know. Like this to me looks horrific. Okay, not as bad as I remember. Try a little ring gummy. These these have got to be harmless, haven't they? Mm, ring gummies are good. Okay, we like those. Don't know what this is, but this this is yeah, this is giving me like just pure licorice vibes. Like you know when you go to a corner shop and you'd like get like a bag. They're not bad. I think I'm liking licorice more than I remember. I was expecting to literally hate these, but these are actually quite good. I don't know why I'm looking at the back of them, like everything's in Danish. But I would give these, give them a 5.75. A huge sweet person, as it stands, like I'm more of a chocolate and crisp person. But a 5.75, not too bad. I'd probably only give Harry Bowl like a 7, do you know what I mean? So these, quite good. I just wanted to say it as well, like whilst I'm halfway like, through the video, like huge thank you to Snack Surprise for messaging me and obviously gifting me one of their boxes. Like, food collaborations oh my god some of the most exciting stuff in the world to me like i couldn't believe it when they messaged me i was like oh my god are you kidding like yes like let's go i told my boyfriend about it he was like this is the most exciting thing you've ever done oh yeah huge thank you to snack surprise honestly like very excited to be doing this video oh, okay this looks like it could be chocolatey scum banana like i'm so sorry for if any of my like danish subscribers are like watching this and they're like you are just mispronouncing everything here i'm so sorry i don't mean to offend anyone i think the brand is carletti and then it's called scum Banan. i'm not sure i'm literally not pronouncing that properly no way a true danish classic and it's still an iconic sweet this is a fluffy banana marshmallow covered in dark chocolate oh my god this sounds right up my street okay a fluffy banana marshmallow does that mean like banana flavoured marshmallow covered in dark chocolate? I'm way too excited for this one. This is this is weird. This is this is unusual. I really like this. It tastes very banana-y. Like if you're a banana flavoured fan, which like I am, I love like banana flavoured stuff. I think you will like this. And the dark chocolate like tastes really nice like on top of it. So I'm gonna go eight out of ten. I'm quite impressed with that. I think that's quite cool. Next one. Oh my god, it's called Yankee Mandel by, again, the brand Tom's. Tom's and Kim's are very popular in Denmark, clearly. Yankee Mandel just sounds like Yankee Candle to me. It's looking kind of like a Twix bar, maybe. But this is similar to a Three Musketeers bar. The Yankee bar was first developed right after World War II to give the American soldiers a taste of chocolate from home. Cheers. Oh my god. Sorry, guys, I just had to take my hoodie off because I started getting really, really warm. But this... This is actually incredible. Look, I need to stop myself from eating all of this because this... I can't remember what a Three Musketeers tastes like, but I remember liking it. 
incredible like i'm gonna struggle not to eat this entire thing right now this is so good i wish i could read the um ingredients and let you know what's actually inside it because this is incredible here to have accidentally eaten it all that, that one gets a 10 that one's that one's fantastic we're down to the last few items now so next one is something called flipper with a picture of a dolphin on the front interesting most stains will remember the classic sweet and fruity marshmallow dolphin from childhood so this is marshmallow so the danes seem to like their marshmallow it's literally just a marshmallow how random how is this keeping like how do they like it's kind of like almost like a it doesn't feel like our type of marshmallows this is so unusual i've never tasted anything like this this doesn't even taste like a normal marshmallow I literally don't even know how to rate that because it's so crazy i'd give it a seven though because it was good and the design of it was quite cool as well I, I can like totally imagine if i was like a kid i would go crazy for that because it'd be so cool okay the next one is this little packet which I'm not sure what this is. Vingummy. Also got the word spunk on the front, which I imagine means a very different thing in Denmark. Don't let the unusual name throw you off. These are Danish fruit flavoured red, yellow, green, and orange wine gums. They are very fruity, but they're like they're much chewier than I had expected. Not sure how I feel about these actually. They're okay. Like I'm not mad on them. I probably wouldn't buy them myself. Like they're okay. I'm not crazy on them. They do taste quite fruity. Would I buy them? Probably not. I'm gonna try this drink, which is called fax condi i can see that it's zero calories fax condi is a deliciously refreshing drink with a subtle lemon flavor it's pretty similar to seven up but better apparently oh my god that does taste like seven up actually it's like a very subtle lemon but it's not like it's not it's not anything like that you'd notice if that makes sense look i only know that it's there because this thing has told me oh that's nice though that is good i'll give it a six i'll give it a six pretty good like down the middle sort of area do you know what i mean it's pretty good and then the final thing that we have are these little i think toffee called caramel golden toffee this one has its own game after eating one try to flatten the wrapper and peel the golden part without ripping it if you fail eat another and try again okay so it's basically a toffee interesting Flatten the wrapper and peel the golden part without ripping. Already ripped it. Already ripped it. It's so incredibly chewy. Like a chocolatey coating as well on the toffee. But the toffee is like really good toffee. So I would probably give it a 6. 6.5. Actually brings us to the end of our snacks now. So we've tried the entire box. There's been some like really good stuff in this box. Like these ones. Oh, I'm probably going to go eat the whole pack of this. These have definitely been some of my favourites. Plus obviously the chocolate bar that I ate the whole thing of. The chocolate covered banana was incredible. But yeah, honestly, this snack box has been really good. These are literally teeth breakers, but they are genuinely quite good. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Once again, thank you so much to Snack Surprise for sending me out this box. Yeah, I will see you all very soon for a new video. And I'm also going to be leaving the link down below in case you want to check out Snack Surprise website. Have a look at their boxes. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, obviously drop us a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are from Denmark or you know of any like delicious Danish snacks that you think I should try, obviously let me know in the comments. Also, I just wanted to say it as well because I've been forgetting to say this in my past few videos. I have had so much love and so many kind comments and so many kind messages from my subscribers and literally i read every single comment like literally every single one i try to reply to as much of them as possible as well but sometimes it like it's, it's a little bit crazy but seriously the amount of love and like kindness i have like experienced from like all of you just like just like a little comment saying like oh like i love this outfit in your harry potter short or like i love your hair or you're so pretty or thank you for like putting up this video and stuff like that it's so kind and like i don't like know why people are commenting this stuff on my channel like because obviously there are so many better youtubers there just like it doesn't go unnoticed and i just wanted to say that in case like i haven't responded to your comment but yeah i just want to say that and anyways i will stop blabbering on now <laughs>